We got the chat popped out. Very nice. Let's make sure we're coming in live. And we are coming in live. Hi, everyone. This is Chicho. Welcome to my channel and welcome to another live stream. Today, today is July 17th, 2021. And we're doing a movie club live stream. Let's pick more movies to watch and then thus discuss in future videos. And uh, we just did a movie review after a few months. We were way, way delayed on uh, the last uh, movie stream that we did, uh, sort of reviewing, uh, talking about six movies that we ended up watching. And uh, those ones uh, are, um, we picked on a previous live stream, a movie recommendation live stream, which is the next one that we're doing right now. So we're gonna pick a whole bunch of movies to watch um, and discuss in a future live stream, probably within a couple of months, well, for sure within a couple of months, right? Um, if we get ties where we end up getting, instead of four movies to watch, we end up getting five, six, seven movies to watch. Um, you know, it might be a little bit longer, but uh, definitely within a couple of months, uh, we'll discuss these movies that we're going to pick uh, to watch. Third Aggression, how are you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you're on a fantastic Saturday. Good start to your weekend. And I got my movie picked. By the way, gang, by the way, hold on, hold on. Let me, let me, let me let you guys know what's up here. Let me know, let you guys know. Afternoon, Lark Bark, how are you doing? I got a package. Whoop. Whoop. Small package. Uh, some people were expecting this. We can crack it open while we wait for people to roll in. Okay. MC Mike, how are you doing? Ah, hey, Chicho. Finally caught a live stream again. Right on, right on. By the way, I like your take on a financial analysis stuff the other day. Awesome. MC Mike. It building it up slowly, right? Uh, and some people get into the really nitty gritty stuff, but they forget about some of the main technicals. Uh, so it was important to take a look at things, right? Uh, and important to share information. And, all. and it's getting me diving back into um, the realm of Wall Street and stuff like this. And I love the data. So it's getting me to remind myself of some of the metrics and stuff like that. So awesome. My favorite stream. Awesome, Elder God. Awesome. Movie stream. Movie stream. I got mine picked already. I got my recommendation. LSB19. Now then, brother, how are you doing? Santoro, Chicho, tell us a good movie about cigars and one about the Iraq war. One about the Iraq war, cigars. What's a good movie about cigars? About cigars? I don't know if there's a, I've ever seen a movie about cigars. Um, on the Iraq war, uh, there would be like war documentaries. Um, I don't think I've ever seen a, like coming out of Hollywood, hell no, like. It's propaganda coming out of Hollywood. What was that one? They gave it an Academy Award where the guy was the bomb disposal guy pulled a pulled the string and all these bombs came towards him. Do you know how much each one of those <laughs> bombs would have weighed? What was the guy Hulk? Like what a bunch of propaganda. Like most uh, war movies coming out of Hollywood, they're just propaganda. So I don't tend to watch those anymore. Uh, I've seen enough of them, all right? Joe, H.E. Cho, did you get a chance to listen to, uh, that's the, I, was it Iceland? No, Norway, the one with the Celtic, uh, they're reading the ruins of ancient, yeah, phenomenal. I didn't see the live one. I saw the two tracks uh, that were that were linked up, and then there was a live one that was like an hour and a half or two hours. I didn't get a chance to see that one, but I loved it. Very good, very good. That, that's what like Viking metal music would be like, you know, listen to that before you go into battle to a certain degree or before you talk to the gods or, and one of them was participating in some fungi. So do that before a uh, psychedelic experience, right? Fantastic. Third aggression. I'm getting the um, Fin 5K microphone coming on my birthday on july 27th i sold one of my older phones yesterday and put money towards it nice 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 that's cheryl how are you doing i need a snack and then i'll be ready okay done deal you know what we got a we got a comic book haul well sort of a comic book haul should we do a haul gang before people come up oh this is going to be a speedy gonzalez 
it's a really clear crisp microphone nice i watched the green zone last night the green zone the green zone i don't is that the one with the with the guy i can't remember uh mc mike i like the data tool i'm uh, playing around with the technical analysis stuff in python quite similar stuff to what you were touching upon nice i'll include the code in my discord page so you and others can play around with the two awesome awesome fantastic mc mike i love it that you put up a discord for sharing information technical stuff math programming coding physics and whatnot can't get away from propaganda well you can you can to a certain degree you can <laughs> uh in the western world very difficult you watched the green zone last night i haven't i don't think i've seen it i see my i like the data too i'm playing around with the technical oh yeah da, 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 da. the second track was a clip from the live show i recommended ah oh, is it okay okay tony buzz how are you doing hey gang third aggression apparently actor christopher lee did metal music and sang metal songs in the 1990s really i don't know actually christopher lee i don't know i don't think i know christopher lee haven't caught many of the movie streams but have watched a few on youtube nice tony bus aggression it's like people will always bully people will always give you propaganda to a degree uganda no one is uh 90s Ch -ch -ch. In his in his nineties, he's in his nineties, or the film was from the nineties. In his nineties, sang a metal song in his nineties, <laughs> right on. Well, that's full on metal, right? Lark bar. I was watching Demolition Man. Nice. About a week um, or two ago, very relevant. Uh, has aged gracefully. Has it? I haven't seen it for a very long time, man. I should watch that again. It's about um, WMDs in Iraq and the lies America used. Is it? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Tink. That's the green zone, eh? You know Christopher Lee. He was Suraman. Ah, in Lord of the Rings. He did he did a metal thing in his uh in his nineties. Very cool. Played the bad wizard, Suraman. Suraman. The guy he he got tricked by Sauron, Lord of the Rings, and Count Dooku in Star Wars. Oh, he's Count Dooku. Oh man, I never made that connection. Uh, Star Wars and a hundred other films, hundred other films. He's been dead for five years or so now. Oh, he died five years ago. Gang, should we do a little haul? Should we do a little haul? Should we do a little haul? Very light, very light, very light. What is this? <laughs> this is an expensive haul damn damn it cost me and i had to pay 30 dollars duty when it arrived here so add 30 dollars canadian to the price i'm about to tell you this thing okay this thing this thing let's do a little comic haul and for those of you i might snip this out as a comic haul right i might snip this out as a comic haul so for those of you that are just watching this little snip as a comic book haul we're doing a movie stream okay on twitch where we're going to be recommending movies and i got a little package that's related to the comic book hauls that we've been doing the comic book readings that we've been doing and it's related to the drug war trading cards that we've been reading okay so keep that in mind it's related to the drug war trading cards and eclipse comics right gang i'm sorry if i'm not reading the chat eclipse comics put out a bunch of other decks of cards one of them was um our favorite dictators and i don't have that one one of them was uh comic book legends creators i don't have that one one of them was um baseball uh cards and i don't have those and we've done the reading for this by the time this video is uh uploaded there's going to be two live streams of us doing two readings of this the first 18 and the next 18 and then each one of the individual cards loaded up as an individual video right virtua ht thank you very much for twitch prime stop okay now after reading the comic book we saw the ad right i think comic book 53 or something like this it was reading real war stories number two at the back there was an advertisement that they were putting out eclipse comics trading cars drug war trading cars more history in this than all of high school and university uh history class that you will you will you will be taught uh, regarding america's war on drugs 
And then we bought, I ended up getting this one too, Iran-Contra scandal. We're going to read every single one of these cards again and upload them as individual cards on all the video sharing platforms that we have, right? So we're going to read this one too. And, and they had coup d'etat, the assassination of JFK. We're going to read these two, every single card and upload them as individual cards on all the video sharing platforms, right? Awesome. Awesome. So happy to have these. And, and we got another deck. Now these ones, these ones I bought as a as a sort of a lump sum i like a like a bulk i bought them a bulk they ended up costing us including shipping like three dollars per pack okay these guys i forget how much they cost uh, they, they end up costing me 30 40 bucks uh us right so 30 30 40 dollars us okay glad to have these glad to have these this deck it's only one deck ended up costing i paid 140 dollars us plus i think 20 dollars shipping okay plus when it got here i have to pay 30 dollars canadian duty right so 30 dollars canadian convert that to like 24 dollars us uh, let's say 25 dollars shipping no uh, let's say 40 dollars so 180 dollars basically this cost had to get it had to get it it doesn't even include the box okay doesn't even include the box i'm going to show you what it is had to get it had to get it because once we found out about it there's no way we ain't going to get it let me see if i can open this thing difficult to open what's going on let's lock it up what the <laughs> let me see if i can open oh there it is there let's check it out let's open it here oh there we go let's crack this open let me show you what it is do you guys know what it is the oh oh the coup d'etat cards are amazing look at this package like this not bad hopefully they're packaged nicely okay 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 he's got them on a bubble wrap they, they're not in a deck. Are they just loose? Oh, he's got them in a bag. Nice. He's got them in a bag. And this is the deck of cards. I need to get the box as well. I need to get the box as well. Basically $180 US for this. Rotten to the core trading cards. Okay. Now, why is this so expensive? Let me crack this open. There should be 36 cards here, just like the rest of them. Okay. It's the cheapest I could find. It's the cheapest I could find. Okay. Let me make sure all the cards here. One, 36, 35, 34, 33, 32, 31, 30, 29, 28, 27, 26, 25, 24, 23, 22, 21, 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now, let's see which card we're looking for. Let's see which card we're looking for. And these are dirty, rotten scoundrels. Some of the dirtiest people in New York City, I believe. It's supposed to be, right? I'm gonna show you two of them because they're the most expensive ones. Oh, where is he? He's way down the road. Oh, here he is. Here he is. <laughs> oh, and the card's in really good shape not bad not bad okay let before i show you this one let me show you the other one who's this where is the other one where is the other one? Oh, he's the last one check this out so the card number 36 
Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. Rudy Giuliani. Rudolph Giuliani. Right? That's one of them. Now, before we look at the other one, gang, don't forget. Free Assange, Free Assange, Free Assange. Julian Assange is a journalist and publisher that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital as power to humanity. For more information, please see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and WikiLeaks playlist on CensorTube. Now, the Rudy Giuliani card is fetching a fair bit of price, but nothing compared to this card. These came out in 19... When did they come out? 1989 1989 new york who's one of the most corrupt people that you know of that has this base in new york or had their base in new york and now they're in florida ready 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 card number six real estate tycoon donald trump no way it's the donald trump indeed Donald Trump from 1989. I'm assuming this is a rookie card. <laughs> We're going to read every single one of these cards, gang. There's a lot of players in this deck. Right? There's a lot of players in this deck. Donald Trump. Trump without question. Right? This card fetches a pretty heavy price pretty heavy price <laughs> regardless well this is back in 89 he wasn't as uh, as plump as he is now right we're gonna read this whole deck okay and we're gonna read the rest of the decks i had to get this i don't collect trading cards but as soon as we read it we had to get it right you i was worried he wouldn't be in there oh man i'd be worried too i would have that would have sucked totally that would have sucked totally very high expensive expensive what the stream about today we're doing movies but i had to show you guys this rotten to the core that's what the trading card is called the deck okay and i don't have the box i'm sorry i couldn't afford to get the one with the box <laughs> Movie nominations, gang, let's do them. Let's do them. Let's do movie nominations. Uh, the Real MC Mike Chicho, where are you getting all these trading cars? These are cool. Uh, just the eBay, I've been picking it up. I've been picking them up from eBay. Okay. Um, the, I highly recommend the, the, the drug ones. Like, seriously, this we learned so much from these so much from these really i knew my history on this and i didn't know my history on this so much information so much information haha -ha. okay by the way did you watch the movie i posted on discord no i haven't watched any of the movies on on discord people posted i didn't get a chance i didn't get a chance the mean card game gang what are we doing with movie recommendations? Let's get back to the movies. Let's get back to the movies. Okay. So movie recommendation. Should I give you mine? Should I give you mine? Oh, yeah. Put in uh, movie. No, Jacob's Law. Oh, Jacob's, Jacob's Ladder. We already. Did we already watch it? It was nominated before. I don't think we it made it to the to the uh, to the list. So for sure. So gang, do exclamation mark. Uh, not exclamation mark number sign is your recommendation mine is this rumble rumble fish from 1983 mine is rumble fish from 1983 francis ford coppola i'm even gonna I'm, I'm even gonna give you guys a link for it to imdb okay francis ford coppola it's it is one of the greatest movies produced uh, movies that, are, that has been made really it's got dennis hopper matt damon 
not Matt Damon. Um, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Doop, doop. No, Matt, Matt, uh, Matt Dillon. Matt Dillon, Mickey Rourke, uh, Dennis Hopper. Uh, it's got Nicolas Cage, uh, Chris Penn. It, it's a phenomenal movie. It's uh, the, the, We watched two black and white movies in the previous live stream, and the, the black and white is it was hidden the spot, okay? So that's my recommendation. Cheryl says, good one. Francis for Coppola, gold. Hubbleton says... Oh yes, love Rumblefish Lark Bark says I haven't seen it for so long. Okay, we got another movie recommendation. Saint Maud. Saint Maud. And gang, put the year in as well. Okay. Because sometimes there's remakes and I think one movie stream we did, um people made a mistake of watching the remake instead of the original. Okay. So uh Saint Maud we got Maldras recommending. And by the way, gang, you, you can talk about whatever movies you want, but you can only recommend one movie. Okay. Uh, Bib Bibitzer has eraser head. Nice. Is that the black and white eraser head? LSB19 recommends Parasite. I just watched that uh, like three, four months ago. Fantastic movie. Koreans rock when they make heavy movies, man. Lark Bark, Rumble, uh, Rumblefish, undeservingly and criminally underrated. Criminally underrated. Yeah, as far as I'm concerned, it should be like Francis Ford Coppola, Apocalypse Now, Godfather, arguably, and Rumblefish. In whatever order you want. You could put Rumblefish ahead of Apocalypse Now and Godfather. Okay. Birdie here is recommending Waterworld. Great movie. Ah, Hubble, Hubbleton recommends Ravenous. I've seen that movie. That's the one in the during the when they were uh, what do you call it coming into the New World, the Europeans, right? Uh, what do you call it? colonizing and cowboys and it's eighteen hundreds or something, isn't it? Ravenous. That's a great movie. Oh, Joe fifty six. Six five eight recommends Pie from 1998. Great movie, a psychological horror film about a mentally ill mathematician who tries to find a pattern in the stock market. Indeed, great movie. Would you do you consider it a horror movie? I, I wouldn't consider it a horror movie, I would consider it uh, just a trippy psychedelic movie. Um, right for some, it might be horror, I guess. Hubbleton, oh yeah, great one, great, great. Uh, uh, third aggression, you got to put a hashtag, number sign in front of movie recommendations. So if you're going to recommend movie, put a number sign on there. Okay, go number sign, beautiful boy, 2018. And I don't know that movie. And by the way, if you guys want people to um, sort of vote up your movies, because I don't know what beautiful boy is about, do a little write-up on it, little intro to it. What what is it about, right? And same with you, uh, Match Loot. Put a little hashtag in front of your recommendation. Lehane, nineteen ninety five. Humbleton, you already recommended Ravenous. Oh yeah. So uh, Humbleton uh, recommended Ravenous. He just put the date on there, nineteen ninety nine. Awesome bits. Uh, Eraserhead, nineteen seventy seven. Cool. Okay, Cheryl. And if you don't use the hashtag, I will ignore it. Listen to the mods because Cheryl's making up the posts. So we have to make sure uh, we make a distinction between recommendations and people just talking about movies, right? Why? Just, just because, third aggression, we have to make a distinction between people just talking about movies and people recommending movies to be voted on, right? That's the reason, uh, which is a good reason right okay so here's the description third aggression for beautiful boy teenager nicholas chef seems to have it have it all with good grades and being an actor artist athlete and editor of the school newspaper when nick's addiction to meth threatens to destroy him his father does whatever he can to save his son and family cool 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 beautiful boy from 19 or from 2018 Okay. Joe says, I definitely found some of his mental breakdowns and hallucinations disturbing. Maybe horror might be the wrong description. Okay, yeah, yeah. 
a bad trip, Joe. And that's in regards to Pi. And Pi is basically it's a black and white movie about uh, um, Koskic, Kos, Koskic Jew, uh, uh, Jewish, I believe, that looks into the Torah. I think it's a Torah as well, and is trying to find the name of God in the the stock market. I think that's what it is, right? Third aggression is based on a true story. It's based on a true story. Beautiful boy, very cool. Match loot. So hashtag um, the movie is Lahain, nineteen ninety five. What's Lahain about? I don't know Lahain gang. MC Mike, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, the one with Sean Connery. Haha. <laughs> okay, MC Mike, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. Lark Bark, Flinch is a great flick. If you like Taxi Driver and Drive, you'll love Flinch. Oh, really? I've, I love Taxi Driver and Drive was fantastic as well. I don't know Flinch. Did you recommend that one, uh, Lark Bark? cool 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 hubbleton sorry i added the year no worries hubbleton i would have done a blurb too it's about uh, cannibalism in the 1840s california simple but amazing yeah and i highly recommend um ravenous as well a great movie great great take on cannibalism uh if you want to think about it that way grow forest cast away on the moon 2009 nice it is a love story between a suicidal man turned castaway on bamsium in the han river and a hikikomori woman who is addicted to kai world psi world wow where is this uh cast away on the moon is this uh, chinese Is this a Chinese movie, Goro Forest? Lark Bart. Heat is another brilliant but immaculate film. Heat was fantastic as well. Oh, nice. Takeda recommends Akira from 1988. I don't know how many times I've seen Akira, but I am always up for watching it again. And Akira is based on a manga series about uh, uh, post uh neo tokyo right so an event happens in tokyo uh like a nuclear type of explosion and it's about tokyo post apocalypse if you want to think about it and it's fantastic so one of the greatest um uh cyberpunk uh movies uh, uh, worlds ever right oh pie is incredible uh, incredible love that's in black and white yeah Ch -ch. oh did i miss a whole bunch of chat i kicked it on da, 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 da. oh i gotta scroll down gang fast have you seen holy mountain yeah yeah holy mountain's fantastic we we had to watch el topo on one of our uh, movie uh, recommendations before yes i would recommend flinch and other quiet similar similar to this cool third aggression is beautiful boy a sad movie question mark uh needless to say it's a sad movie with a feeling of dread and hopelessness at its center to thoroughly capture the essence of a drug drug addict on a downward spiral for a loving and caring father to see his beautiful boy become something he never expected and doesn't understand and can't help is tragic wow third aggression okay don't give any more spoilers third aggression seems uh sounds like a really good movie man uh sounds like basketball diaries to a certain degree basketball diaries was fantastic and uh requiem for a dream wow 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 mc mike i was high when i first watched taxi driver laugh out loud the saxophone was great haha <laughs> who's your favorite director um terence mckenna not, not Terrence McKenna, sorry. Um, what do you call it? Um, uh, not Terrence McKenna. Uh, Stanley Kubrick. I consider Terrence McKenna and Stanley Kubrick to be a sort of one on the same level. Uh, psychedelic trippy, right? So Stanley Kubrick, my favorite director. Um, and then Terrence, Terrence Malick is another. Okay. Damn. There's this one movie I watched and I forgot the name and what it was about. But it was good. Haha, <laughs> crafter. <laughs> 
Gang, I don't know if I'm missing anything. There's a lot of chat going on. Okay, gang, I'm scrolling down. Uh, apologies if I'm not reading everything, uh, but I'm trying to find hashtags. Okay, here's another one. Uh, movie recommendation. Crafters recommending uh, Dog Day Afternoon from 1973. What a fantastic movie. Come on, kitty cat. We got the kitty cat here right now. Oh, oh, you can't go to the food. No, no, no. No, no, no. Oh, come here. Okay, okay. Here's Sal. Off you go. Dog Day Afternoon. Okay. Fantastic movie from 1973. I'm looking for hashtag recommendations. I <laughs> see that. I love Terrence McKenna. Watched, watched him this morning. Nice, nice. Okay, what have we got? What have we got? Any more, any more, any more, any more. And gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or, or Julian Assange on Wikileaks playlist on CensorTube. Padre, Padre, Padre in the house. And Padre is recommending places in the heart. The last scene is one of the greatest tear jerkers of all time. Totally earned and beautiful movie. Okay. Places in the heart. When did it come out, uh, Padre? Places in the heart. Why does that ring a bell to me? Yeah, kitties are getting big. Okay, I'm almost to the bottom. So I'm going to read the Lark Barks upgrade synopsis and this is uh, I, can't, I forget what movie this is for uh, i might be able to remember a brutal mugging leaves a uh, great trace uh, paralyzed in the hospital and his beloved wife dead a billionaire inventor soon offers trace a cure an artificial intelligence implant called stem that will enhance his body now able to walk gray finds that he he i know this movie he also has superhuman strength agility uh skills he uses to seek revenge against the thugs i seen this movie which movie is this uh, lark bark fantastic movie fantastic movie lark bark free julian assange pardon edward snowden and support chelsea manning 100 percent Simpletron 2000 is recommending Debbie Does Dallas. <laughs> 1974, I think, isn't it? Simpletron 2000. Isn't Debbie Does Dallas 1974? Uh, uh, Takeda, no. Oh, you can talk about more movies. So is asking, can I suggest one more, uh, one more, dude? Uh, you can talk about talk about it but you can't recommend it for it to be voted on you can only recommend one movie to be voted on but you're allowed to talk about as many movies as you want okay and people might decide to watch it which is great which is what this movie stream is about right recommending phenomenal movies or fun movies or interesting movies informative movies to people that might not otherwise not be recommended these movies right I'm looking for hashtags, gang. I'm looking for hashtag. Oh, here's one. Um, the Lazy Dentist recommends Solaris. Great movie. Great movie. Solaris. Fun movie. Slow movie. Very dreamy movie. A sci-fi. Sci-fi. Okay. Solaris is the, the Russian one. So you're recommending the Russian one. Solaris is the 1972 movie. There's another. Okay. So you're recommending... Um, Hold on, the lazy dentist. Are you recommending the 1972? I think that's the Russian movie. You're recommending, is it? Solaris, uh, the lazy dentist. Hashtag Solaris. I say this because I think, yeah, you're recommending the Russian one. Tarkovsky. Uh, I got a Tarkov. Tarkovsky was disappointed with Kubrick's Apollo, so he made this one. Really okay okay 
what MC Mike wasn't Debbie does Dallas that adult film that was <laughs> why not uh, through Caligula in uh, there too uh, I think Debbie does Dallas is a little bit more hardcore than Caligula even though Caligula was pretty hardcore yes yes the Russian one okay so Solaris so uh, the lazy dentist is recommending Solaris the Russian one the original version from 1972 not the remake with uh, What's his name? Ba -ba 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 -ba. What was his name? What's his name? What's his name? I forget his name. I forget his name. <laughs> Cheryl's asking him, see Mike, are you changing your pick <laughs> to Debbie Does Dallas? Ha <laughs> ha, <laughs> Shaggy Rogers 52 recommending Sh little shop of horrors awesome awesome that's a great movie fun movie fun movie uh sun sun and leo 98 uh if you're recommending a movie soderbergh uh you have to put a hashtag number sign in front of it to recommend it okay and put the year in there too so we know what it is that we're uh we're looking for and also if you get a chance do a little write-up on it to explain what that movie is about because i don't know what that movie is about interpsy have you seen a movie called brother from another planet yeah the black guy what an awesome movie what an awesome movie that's a fun movie man i haven't seen it for like 30 years but what a fun movie brother from another planet that was a great movie see that oh my god i watched the trailer of upgrade oh i don't think it, i don't know what upgrade was about uh that, that, that birdie here dances with wolves is a great film it is a good film sad it's, it doesn't show the utter boot brutality of what happens but it touches on it it's it's a good um i haven't seen it for a long time by the way so just a story about dances with wolves uh, my 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 uh, one of my parents and their siblings took my grandfather to it and he was very upset with that movie he was very upset with them for taking him to see this movie because he was he knew about the history of the native american population here and he came out of that movie saying why did you take me to to see a movie where i know what they did to the native americans committing genocide i don't want to see that i know that right so it's a good movie though joe have you seen stand and deliver for sure that was a second film i was considering to recommend yeah stand and deliver is fantastic see death is recommending idiocracy from 2006 reminds the current world <laughs> as soon as you open your eyes a little bit you go oh yeah it pretty much reminds me of the last two decades really uh, but we got another recommendation so idiocracy from 2006 hubbleton i can't remember if uh judgment night is actually good but that's a soundtrack though i don't think i've seen judgment night sunny leo stephen Soder, Soder, Soderberg is the director. Oh, you were trying to remember. He did the remake of Solaris with Clooney. Oh, okay. Steven Soderberg did the Solaris remake with George Clooney. And it, would, it wasn't bad, but Russian one's superior. Russian one is more psychedelic. More psychedelic very slow movie very both of them very slow movies okay which is a great thing third aggression you won't know what the movie is about until you see it watch beautiful boy it's on prime cool 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 unicorn redeem 1000 points thank you very much for redeeming the points unicorn and just just remember for those of you who are redeeming points i appreciate redeeming the points but in september november november october october november i can't remember when we're going to do it i'll go remind me we're going to do auctions where you can redeem your points it's sort of a viewer appreciation where i'm going to auction off some stuff for people to 
that you can bid on right based on your points and then you redeem your points one of the things we're going to be auctioning off is a, at least a you know a few sets of drug war trading cards last year uh we auctioned up some comic books that comic books that i had published jam that i had made honey we auctioned off and we auctioned off a couple of books um from uh, dm turner okay cheryl recommends 1917 in 2019 that came out that's two three years ago four years ago now wow that was a long time ago i watched it great movie about world war one uh very good movie uh follows the trials and tribulations the the follows a couple of soldiers through their journey joe's replying to cheryl great choice cow 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 czar cow czar if you're recommending children of men fantastic movie children of men you got to put a hashtag in front of your recommendation okay otherwise it won't be submitted into uh creating a poll and we should be getting uh we should be closing the polls by now gang if you're wanted to recommend the movie it's got to be in cheryl are we up to date with the movie recommendations i'm scrolling all the way down see that if i get a chicho honey i'll never eat it just label it chicho and keep it forever <laughs> auction it off in 20 years on ebay fetch us ten thousand dollars chicho honey <laughs> hilarious lonely piggy hey chicho and chad how are you doing hope everyone is doing well doing fantastic elder god is recommending the adjustable uh adjustable bureau I, I i think i know this movie elder god what's this movie about so elder god is rec recommending the adjustable bureau and the lazy dentist lazy dentist i thought you already had one recommendation you could only make one recommendation cheryl can confirm this but if he only has one recommendation if you don't have any he's recommending uh chunking express and lonely piggy's here lonely piggy likes to know what i'm eating cuckoo and yogurt i made the cuckoo yesterday it's so good very good we had lots of greens it's herb season gang and if you want to know what this is uh we have videos out there cooking videos where i show you making cuckoo a very delicious so lazy dentist your first recommendation stays in chunking express doesn't go in okay that was fun let's go again that was fun Woo. that was fun Woo. fun Woo. let's go again try it elsewhere fun sorry adjustment bureau adjustment bureau so elder god what's the adjustment bureau uh, bureau about sunny leo i'll uh, recommend chunking express you can keep solar s as your recommendation okay so sun so solaris stays in and sun sun in leo 98 is recommending chunking express 1994 okay birdie here is asking does it ever throw you off when actors play multiple superheroes like human torch being captain america mm, no was a human torch captain america the fantastic four movies were just pure crap so i didn't even i i didn't even watch i watched i, I think the first one that came out it was like on the second one too was, oh my god the last one that came out it was so horrendous okay so here's the adjustment bureau elder god david a politician on the verge of winning a seat in the u.s senate falls in love with alice a ballet dancer however a mysterious group of men conspire to keep them apart mm, i don't think i've seen this movie cool 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 okay gang here's what we got please take a look cheryl's posted it please take a look make sure your nomination is there otherwise you're out of luck here's the recommendations rumblefish okay look mom 
it's up in like i'm gonna read read these recommendations rumblefish saint maud eraser head parasite water world ravenous pie beautiful boy lahane indiana jones and the last crusade get um cast away on the moon akira dog day uh ba -ba -ba, da -da 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 -da. dog day afternoon places in the heart debbie does dallas solaris little shop of horrors idiocracy 1917 jacob's ladder the adjustment bureau and chunking express okay gang we got 22 22 <laughs> people are laughing that does that we got 22 how are we gonna break this up 22 is not divisible evenly um behind the green door next <laughs> lonely piggy the mcu's fantastic four i have high hopes for oh maybe maybe uh i want them to do dr doom right one of the best villains ever in my opinion i agree with you lonely piggy the the Doctor Dooms they have done is so brutal. Takeda. No, I think uh, uh, Chunking... Oh, there's no Chunking Express. Was there Chunking Express? Oh, no, there was. No, Chunking Express, uh, someone else recommended it. Um, so it was okay. If you take two more, we can do six. So we need two more recommendations, gang. So anybody that had other recommendations recommend it nobody nominated porkies i'm disappointed haha <laughs> see that you can do it we need two recommendations the first two that come in we're putting them in the first two okay you got to put a hashtag in front of it if you're going to do a recommendation Sean King, second recommendation for lazy no no takida so uh son uh, uh someone took over that someone uh son in leo said that um uh, what's his name could uh could keep his recommendation with solaris and he would recommend chunking express so chunking express came with someone else okay gang we have the recommendations tron uh pope grimy puts in tron okay and is that the original tron or remake tron you got to put that in oh uh, uh eduardo we already watched uh in burgess stand and deliver joe you didn't put oh joe's in oh no no so joe someone beat you padre beat you put bay swoop stand and deliver is a fantastic movie okay so these are the two recommendations um but pope we need to know the original okay so we got the original tron and we got in Burgess, Eduardo, we're going to skip it because we've already had that as a homework in a previous live stream. So put put Bay Swoop. I have no idea what that's about. Okay. Okay. And the other ones that came in, Joe, Stand and Deliver from 1988. If you haven't watched it, watch it. Fantastic movie. And Third Aggression is uh, recommended. Goodwill Hunting, which is a fantastic movie as well fantastic movie as well okay put me sweep put me sweep okay got it so uh, by the, before we go into the votes uh, oh Z zeta ghost in the shell would be amazing i would i would vote for it i've seen it multiple times but we're fill up now no more recommendations gang okay you can do it on the next one i'll vote for ghost in the shell any day What's that one where the entire movie is just a lone tank um, crew trying to survive in their tank? Uh, are you talking about the submarine, Das Boot? Das Boot is a fantastic movie. I think there's a tank one as well. Was that a German one as well? I watched a little bit of Tomorrow War. I just so much propaganda the first 10, 15 minutes that I couldn't watch it. I'll watch it those ridiculous yeah elder god i couldn't i did 10 minutes and i was okay no i can't watch this this thing okay here's a description for putney swoop about a black dude that takes over an advertisement agency turns it into the truth and soul ad agency haha <laughs> uh, third aggression we're done with the with the things we're going to start the polls we got six polls going okay 
and we're going to put four movies in each okay so this time we're going to get six movie recommendations hobbleton no although that was good da, 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 da. okay so the rest is up to cheryl and then i'll do the commentary and we do the voting and what i'm going to do is i'm going to eat one more cuckoo get myself some energy going hope you guys have good snacks remember eat well gang gang right cuckoo cuckoo and yogurt look at this delicious goodness this is fantastic the last movie recommended was putney swoop putney swoop sounds like a cool concept a black dude that takes over an advertisement agency turns it into the truth and soul ad agency and then there was the original tron as well and i'm assuming everybody knows what tron is about great movie great movie classic hobbleton the beast is a tank movie i was thinking about very cool I haven't seen it yet. Scoopity whoop. Scoopity whoop. Is that what it's called? Is that how you pronounce it? No, that's not how you pronounce it. Scoopity whoop. Oh, yeah. By the way, gang. Here is. Uh, hey, where's our things? Mm -hmm. We got four new emotes we got approved for. We got this one. We got this one. We got this one and we got this one. One of them is Chicho Hee Hee. The other one's Chicho Cheers. The other one's Chicho Cigar. The other one's Chicho Truth. Ready? Let's kick him in. Doink. These are our four new emotes. Okay, that we got. Uh, we're part of a Twitch test thing where they said you can do. <laughs> X, how are you doing? <laughs> awesome. Chicho Cigar all the way. <laughs> <laughs> that's that picture my nephew's beside me by the way we both have cigars that's at one of my favorite cliff jumping places uh that i've gone cliff jumping in since i was like 14 years old okay I'm, i don't live there anymore um but uh, we go there smoke cigars have a little herb have a little bit of liquid refreshments and cliff jump all day fantastic you look like a wizard awesome <laughs> <clears throat> twist sent you a message on that thing too very cool very cool awesome cigar smoking bearded man <laughs> cliff jumping video man i wish i was in that town i want to go cliff jumping <coughs> in the throat and by the way if you're gonna go cliff jumping i have a video out there just do a search for chicho cliff jumping it's sort of the do's and don'ts of cliff jumping okay it's no joke rocks are hard people die people become paralyzed when they go cliff jumping you gotta be careful be smart about it i've seen people do some stupid shit when they're cliff jumping me included when i was younger okay not good the lazy dentist i always wondered what's with the name chicho is that your real name it's it's a nickname I've, I've had for like almost 30 years now long time i don't know how it works to get them do you need to spend point um no oh you you have to follow by the way for those emotes to be able to uh use those emotes you have to follow you don't have to subscribe like tier one or anything like this you just have to follow and your notifications i guess it turn well you can turn off your notifications but you have to follow to be able to get those emotes okay it's it's like free emotes as long as you follow uh, free chicho <laughs> free chicho <laughs> that is... yeah if you follow you get it okay third aggression by the way free chicho he's been 
crucified for saying hashtags and giving worldly possessions and gathering people for free speech over the WikiLeaks soup. Hilarious. Gang, heat one is up. Cheryl, thank you very much. This is movie night number six. We got heat one. We got four movies in this. Putni Swoop, Solaris, Chunking Express, and Rumblefish. They all each have one vote. I voted... I, I recommended Rumblefish. I'm voting Rumblefish. It's a great black and white movie. Putney swoops sound an amazing black guy takes over an advertising agency and changes his known image. Uh, Solaris is an amazing Russian movie from 1972. Chunking Express is a fantastic funny movie, if I'm remembering correctly, from 19... 19- 90 something oh okay i'm missing the points rumblefish is seven seven votes now putney swoop is three votes uh chunking express is three votes and solaris has only had one vote and how, how long did we uh time wise did you put on this uh cheryl i randomized the list this time cool so f- uh, fingers crossed the heat heats are fair awesome awesome Thanks, Cheryl. Chicho, do you ever take notes during movies? No, uh, I pause sometimes. Okay. Right now, Rumblefish has nine votes. Chunk King Express has three votes. Solaris has one, and Putney Swoop has three votes. If nothing, if something doesn't come through for the other movies, I think Rumblefish is going to take it. It's a fantastic movie. Um, Cheryl, you have three minutes. Uh, just, just we do two. Yeah. Uh, if we do two possibly better maybe because we got six heats to do right um and this is sort of nice and chill as well chunking express is up to four votes now we got rumblefish at nine chunking express at four uh putney swoop at three and solaris at one apologies for those of you who are going against rumblefish uh because all of these movies uh i've seen solaris i haven't seen putney swoop and i've seen uh chunking express i believe this is the right movie i'm thinking about the funny movie as well and uh but rumblefish uh chicho recommendation i guess black and white movie francis for coppola matt uh, dylan uh, uh mickey rourke uh dennis hopper it's 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 amazing right so rumblefish has 10 votes right now chunking express with four putney swoop with three and solaris has two votes rumblefish is awesome elder god says rumblefish rumblefish mickey works one of the best uh performances ever right see that if chicho recommends it game of uh, dude i recommended buck rogers movie last time brutal worst movie got zero out of ten and elder god uh, for me got 0.5 out of ten and elder god gave it zero so right now rumblefish at 11 chunking express at four putney sweep at three and solaris at two and the heat is over so rumblefish is is the movie that's in chicho knows how to uh sell his films <laughs> even the crappy ones <laughs> rumblefish Lark park says is incredibly brilliant with an excellent cast indeed indeed the lazy dentist chunking express is funny and romantic but not in the hollywood style rom-com but the videography was on point cool 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 third aggression i've only known about mickey rourke from the wrestler oh some would argue this is his best performance rumblefish okay some would argue this is his best performance okay so we got rumblefish sunny leo speaking of mickey rourke have you guys seen angel heart yeah great movie good movie good movie eduardo i watched five minutes of uh, bucky roger (laughs) what a brutal movie horrendous padre 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 just watched the wrestler with uh, mickey rourke he was the wrestler born for that role was he cool 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 i think i've se- i don't know if i've seen it or not tell you the truth have you ever seen the wrestler i can't remember now i know the movie but i would have to have i seen that movie i can't when did it come out Heat number two is out, gang. We got two minutes for this. We got two minutes for this. Ready? We got Debbie Does Dallas, Parasite, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, and Ravenous. We got Parasite with three votes. People are voting this baby up. Korean movie, and it's a fantastic movie. Four votes for Parasite, one vote for Debbie Does Dallas, no votes for Indiana Jones or Ravenous. We got five votes for Parasite. 
we got five votes for parasite one vote for ravenous and one vote for debbie does dallas parasite has got six votes debbie does Dallas has two votes the parasites at seven debbie does dallas is at three ravenous is at one i uh, like this is a tough one guys <laughs> rmc mike says ravenous is, sorry parasite is at 10 look at this debbie does dallas goes to six ravenous goes to two and indiana jones is still sitting at the gates with zero in the last crusade so we got parasite at seven debbie does dallas at six and ravenous at two Parasite is 10, Debbie does Dallas at 6, Ravenous at 2, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade is still in the gates with 0. And while we wait for the votes to come in, gang, don't forget, free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that is being crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capital's power for, to humanity. For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on censor tube gang we got parasite 11 votes debbie does dallas at eight votes ravenous at two and indiana jones and the last crusade is nowhere to be found right parasite is sitting 11 debbie does dallas at eight ravenous at two let's check this out poor indy poor indy goes nowhere we're down to the last like five seconds gang five seconds we got parasite at 11 takes it debbie does dallas comes in second with eight votes ravenous at three which is a fantastic movie and in that indiana jones and last crusade whoop, at zero at zero Julian Assange also has movie, I think. Yeah, yeah, there's a documentary on Julian Assange, a couple of documentaries on Julian Assange. I've seen both. Fantastic. Right? So close. See, that says so close. <laughs> Thank you. Oh my God, I totally forgot that I just have only one vote and I used it already for another movie, not for me. <laughs> you can vote. By the way, you can vote in every heat right you if you voted in this you can vote in the next heat as well but you can only vote for one movie per poll right per uh heat that's running okay and once you cast your vote you can't take it back right so don't make the mistake of casting the wrong vote no time for dr jones heat number three is up gang heat number three is up we got eraser head we got dog day afternoon we got beautiful boy we got little shop of horrors fantastic movies and beautiful boy sounds great you know what beautiful boys at one little shop of horrors at one eraser head at three we got little shop of horrors at two and dog day afternoon is still sitting at zero we got little shop of horrors and oh little shop of horrors goes forward with four eraser head is four beautiful boys at two and dog day afternoon at one from everything that i know about the movies i've seen and what we heard about all of these sound amazing little shop of horrors at five eraser at a five close race close race beautiful boy at two dog day afternoon at two we got a tied race right now and if we get a tie at the end we have to watch both of them double the homework double the homework we got dog day afternoon at three going up going up so we got eraser head and little shop of horrors at five dog day afternoon at three and beautiful boy is at two Da, 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 oh dog day afternoon goes to four is this going to be a three-way win look at this look at this spencer what is spencer saying love your content also little shop of horrors is great it is great indeed oh dog day afternoon goes to six dog day afternoon takes over dog day afternoon goes to seven wow 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 it is a fantastic movie a beautiful timepiece and relevant for today we got dog day afternoon at seven eraser head and little shop of horrors at five beautiful boy at two dog day afternoon goes to eight vote dog day afternoon into nine wow eraser head and little shop of horrors just froze in their tracks we're down to the last 10 seconds gang we got dog day afternoon at 10 now eraser head and little shop of horrors at five and beautiful boy is at two dog day afternoon takes it with 10 votes eraser head and little shop of horrors at five and beautiful boy is at two and just to let you know i voted for beautiful boy because it sounded like an amazing movie um by the way gang um i've seen dog the afternoon multiple times it's a great movie little shop of horrors i've seen a couple of times beautiful movie eraser had i've only seen once and i really liked it um 
but beautiful boy sounded fantastic too i might have to watch that one as well but dog day afternoon looking forward to watching that as well what a great movie what a great pump it up pump it up that gets you all excited see death is no let's all uh, uh collude to make ties then more movies hilarious <laughs> third aggression indiana joe is being filmed in scotland it's uh based in 1969 moon landing oh really I don't, know, I, I don't have hopes for in, any more Indiana Jones remakes, right? Eduardo, whoop, whoop. See that. I didn't vote for Beautiful Boy. Uh, re reminded me uh, of Balloon Boy hoax thing. Mm, I don't know Balloon Boy hoax thing. Gang, heat number four is up. We got Places in the Heart, Akira, The Adjustment Bureau, and Waterworld. Wow, wow, wow. Powerhouses in the house, right? We got Akira, two votes, Waterworld at one. The Adjustment Bureau is at zero. Places in the Heart is at one. We got three for Akira, one vote for Places in the Heart and Waterworld, and Adjustment Bureau hasn't left the house yet. Adjustment Bureau is at one, Waterworld at one, Akira at three, and Places in the Heart one. So far, Akira's ahead. Akira's at three. Akira's at four. We got Akira's at five. Oh, Akira's at five. Adjustment Bureau two, Waterworld at two, and Places in the Heart is at one. We got Akira sitting at six votes. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Ad oh, there goes Waterworld is at three. We got Akira at seven, Adjustment Bureau at three, Waterworld at three, and Places in the Heart at one vote. Very cool. Very cool. Akira, we're getting real dominant uh, votes movies per heat right now and some ties for second right i see akira i click i see akira I click sign that says oh we got akira at seven the adjustment bureau four water world at three and places in the heart at one and one one movie in each heat has been sort of lagging behind right wow 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 great horse races eduardo's we've got a little crying action going on so right now we got Akira at seven, the Adjustment Bureau at four, Waterworld at three, and Places in the Heart at one. Some people might be holding on to their votes when it gets closer. We got about 20 seconds left, gang. This community is awesome, dude. Takina, awesome. Thank you. Adjustment Bureau went up to seven. We need two more votes in Adjustment Bureau to have a tie to do two movies from this heat. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. But dangerous. Oh, Adjustment Bureau at six. Someone, oh, and Akira takes it with seven votes. We got Adjustment Bureau with six. Waterworld world at three and places in the heart at two votes so close so close with the adjustment bureau so close so close usually these come down to the wire yeah they do usually come down to the wire and it's getting close like uh, one of the movies in the last one just came out from behind and took it right i don't know what to pick so gave sympathy votes <laughs> Vote Akira be happy, Takeda says. Awesome. Elder God is damn you. Elder God had the adjustment bureau. Elder God, you almost got in with seven, seven, seven. That would have been a great devil movie, eh? Cheryl's like, oh fun, fun. But that's pretty good, man. We're we're getting like one movie per heat. There's been times where we've got two movies and multiple heats, so we had like eight movies to watch or something. Padre, padre. Cool, cool, cool so so far we're getting clean wins you're getting very close though the adjustment bureau there was one more vote we would have done it cyanide for dinner it comes close because some people just want chaos some people just want to watch the world burn and that it is who is that that's a batman movie movie night number six Heat number five is up. We got 1917. We got Saint Maud. We got Castaway on the Moon. And we got Pi. Whoa, whoa. Heavy movies. Heavy movies. I don't know what Saint Maud is about, though. Uh, we got Castaway on the Moon with two votes. Pi in 1917 with one vote. And Saint Maud hasn't left the gate yet. We got 1917 is at two votes now. We got Castaway. Castaway on the Moon with three votes. Castaway on the Moon with three votes. Uh, 1917 with no castaway on the moon with four votes 1917 with three pi with two votes and saint maud with one vote this is still a very close race castaway special padre says i kind of wish i had nominated 
The Way of the God. I love that movie. Oh, I don't know that movie. I think, oh, 1917 goes up to four votes. Cast Away on, on the Moon with four. Saint Maud and Pi are at two votes. 1917 is at five votes now. Came over and in the lead. Cast Away on the Moon with four votes. Saint Maud and Pi are at two votes. We got a tie right now. Cast Away on the Moon at five. 1917 at five. Pi three votes. Saint Maud is at two votes. Maud is a reclusive young nurse whose uh, impressionable demeanor causes her to pursue a pious path of Christian devotion after obscure trauma. Now charged with the hospice care of Amanda. Okay, I'm gonna go back to the thing. So that's what the movie is about. 1917 is at six votes, castaway at six votes, pi is at three, and Saint Maud is at two. We got a two-way tie right now. Six and six for 1917 and castaway on the moon. We got pi at three, Saint Maud at two. We're down to the last five seconds. Oh 1917 takes oh castaway comes up. We got seven votes for 1917 and castaway on the moon. Oh, and it's a tie. We get a double movie out of this. Sweetness, sweetness. We got 1917 and castaway away on the moon seven votes a pop pi got three and saint mod got two votes awesome 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 we got two movies out of this one tom hanks was on jeff epstein's flight log same with jimmy <laughs> yeah third aggression there's a lot of people on that lolita express i wonder when the heads are gonna roll i wonder if uh, john mcafee's uh, little uh, dead man switch is gonna kick in i think there's about six days left We'll see, we'll see. Oh, Saint Maud is a A24 movie. Count me in. A24. I don't know what A24 is. Holy bananas, Cheryl says. Cheryl's in the house with 1917. <laughs> double whammy, double whammy. We almost have a double whammy on the last one, too. Double the pleasure, double the fun. See that says. Ha ha ha. 1917 Castaway on the Moon. Nice. Champ. Totem, whammy, Chito, do you golf? Uh, uh, pitch and putt, I've done. Pitch and putt, shorter golf. It's fun with friends. And gang, by the way, apologies if I'm missing the stuff. I'm trying to stay up with the chat and whatnot. Thank you for the follows. Thank you for the subs. Thank you for being here. Thank you for the discussions and the support and mods. Thank you for taking care of business. Double the pride, twice the fall. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey buddy, what's up, Rambo? How you doing? Are you gonna do a vote for the movies? Let's watch some movies. Let's watch some movies. We got homework to do. We got homework to do. We got one more heat coming up. We got one more heat coming up. Heat number six, the last heat cast your votes. We got Lahane, Jacob's Ladder, it um idiocracy and tron we got Jacob's Ladder and Idiocracy with one vote a pop. We got Idiocracy with two votes. Three votes, Jacob Ladder's a two votes. Idiocracy's gone up to five. Just shot up there. Jacob's Ladder with two. Tron and Lahane. They haven't even left the gate yet. Zero votes each. Um, you got Jacob's Ladder at three votes. Lahane is at one vote. Jacob's Ladder is at three votes. Idiocracy at six votes. We got Jacob's Ladder at five votes. Lahane is at two. Oh, we got a two way tie right now. Jacob's Ladder and Idiocracy at six votes a pop. Tron is in with one vote, and Lahane has got two votes. We're almost halfway through. We got two votes a pop for Lahane and Tron, and we got six votes a pop for Jacob's Ladder and Idi Idiocracy okay idiocracy going forward with seven votes it's eight votes for idiocracy oh it's pulling ahead it's pulling ahead well, jacob's ladder doesn't have the stamina oh it's coming into seven votes for jacob's ladder idiocracy is at eight votes we're we got about 40 seconds left let's see where this takes us we got eight and eight jacob's ladder idiocracy tron and lahane at two votes a pop oh jacob's ladder goes ahead pulls ahead with nine votes idiocracy is at eight votes look at this look at this we got jacob's ladder at nine idiocracy at eight tron and lahane at two votes a pop two votes a pop check this out we're down to the last like 
20 seconds gang we got nine for jacob's ladder idiocracy at eight tron and lahane at two votes a pop we got nine a pop for idiocracy and jacob's ladder we got 10 votes for idiocracy nine votes for j idiocracy takes it jacob ladder gets left behind with one vote who voted that one in lahane and tron we got two votes for them so idiocracy takes it with 10 uh 10 jacob's ladder takes it uh is second with nine and lahane and tron are two votes a pop no elder god said did you want to watch jacob's ladder funny funny Woo hold the line hold the line hilarious he does says boop, boop. <laughs> girl four is there i hate that film do you hate that film idiocracy see that i can't do this anymore without consulting my physician <laughs> see that says Sure, I was laughing. I know. Well played, well played. Lazy dentist, come on! It was a close call. Watch both. You can, you can definitely watch both movies, gang. I might watch one of the other movies that was recommended here uh, that didn't win. Who did that, Loki? <laughs> Loki, <laughs> hilarious, Takina. <laughs> the Loki will not say. <laughs> girl forest there is for sure someone waiting to the last second just to hype chaos lovers chaos lovers fun 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 the third aggression we are in the end game now oh randomizing definitely helped it did too cheryl agreed randomizing worked fantastic loved it third aggression mc fake death universe cyanide for dinner like i said it wasn't fair idiocracy is a documentary oh it is too it is too yeah that's true idiocracy is a documentary so social justice warrior for there <laughs> so this is what we'll do gang uh from now on because this is the first time we've had a documentary recommended from now on uh, maybe in another uh live stream we'll just do documentaries right but for me i don't think idiot i don't i didn't i've seen idiocracy i didn't really treat it I, i'm i'm either way with it it didn't really suit me like i i don't think it was raving mad like some people are saying it um but it i don't consider it really a documentary it was a mockumentary as far as i'm concerned right so because uh john stewart or something i don't like john i think it's john stewart is it john stewart that does it for me it it really wasn't a true documentary right uh if you want to see a true documentary watch darwin's nightmare what an amazing documentary i can't wait to recommend that during a documentary live stream but to me idiocracy is more of a mockumentary okay it's not a documentary no it, it it's a mockumentary we are living the prequel to idiocracy i don't know there's a lot of people waking up not the not the corporate wake up the, they're, they're the program wake up the real wake up that realizes damn there's a lot of people asleep in our society right who the hell is cheryl cheryl is our mod that's doing the polls one of our mods but the one that's doing the polls and she's doing a fantastic job hail cheryl Woo! thank you cheryl for doing these by the way i like their their vision for starbucks everyone partakes in idiocracy not for that. it was a satirical documentary yeah a satirical documentary right it's a ridiculous film sure <laughs> elder god <laughs> love it elder god every movie stream you must watch a shitty movie <laughs> buck rogers was my recommendation last time ah uh, elder gods uh cheryl says i am the hashtag queen awesome 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 what happens now that we've picked the movies we watch them and then in about anywhere between four weeks to eight weeks like within within the next two months we're going to do a live stream where we're going to discuss the movies right have like review and give our commentary uh, about them like three days ago we did one for six movies that we were supposed to watch last time okay so uh what were the movies does dune have a release date oh man i, I don't know i hope it does 
uh, it's the only movie that I'm actually might be willing to go to a movie theater, but I won't sit there with a mask and I'm not going to get a boom boom in my arm. Number five months, please. No, uh, no five months. No, we're going to do it within two. Elder God, you push me towards it, okay? If, if you see it not coming up anytime soon, just send me a reminder. Chicho, time to get, get going, okay? Sign up for another, another challenge. Watch a new movie in reverse. It was fun when I tried. In reverse? October 1st, I think, for Dune, the new Dune. Phew now it's time for a drink ah uh, yeah cheryl time for a drink by the way what what are the movies we got let's do a little uh, final tally on this what are the movies we got what are the movies we got we got six movies right no we got seven movies it was a tie so there's seven movies we got uh, for uh, that we need to watch okay and uh, the list will be in our discord uh elder god created a folder called uh, our homework page or something like it is <laughs> for movies and music we got to do the music one man uh, so these are the movies we got we got rumble fish uh thanks uh, elder god rumble fish parasite dog day afternoon akira idiocracy i don't know what the other two are Oh, here's Cheryl. Cheryl, we got Rumblefish, Parasite, Dog Day Afternoon, um, Akira, 1917, Castaway on the Moon, and Idiocracy. We got seven movies to watch. Okay. So, gang, give yourself about four or five weeks. Within, f within five weeks, you should have watched these seven movies. And we'll, pro we'll plan on doing another movie stream to talk about these movies in about a month and a half or so okay that's our homework great homework great homework monopoly money launder <laughs> also i've heard some praise about october sky how is it has anyone watched it i don't think i've watched it elder god 1917 castle in the moon nice nice we came so close to watching debbie does that <laughs> we did too and I'm pretty sure that's available in the Pirate Bay. I'm not watching them. Don't watch them. It's up to you. Great homework. October Sky. Watch those. Thanks, girl. But often I love that I have a little trouble knowing how Werner von Braun was while in Germany. But it's still a fave. Which which movie is the fave? Ba, 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 ba. October Sky. Why is that ringing a bell? October Sky you love, Cheryl. Oh, Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is fantastic third aggression. Yeah, I've already done half. I have half of my homework. Haha, <laughs> sign up for dinner. I, I rewatch everything. No matter, uh, like, when we're doing movie streams, I rewatch the movies even though if I've watched them already so just to stay fresh right so I end up watching the whole thing I end up watching the whole thing yeah you have to watch them again no cheating or you can cheat you don't have to watch them but I end up watching them again I watch everything they keep talking about making a Ozzy Osbourne biopic haha <laughs> elder god I'm aiming for my birthday for movie chat uh september oh yeah 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 we do we, I th we might yeah 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 we do that should we do it then <laughs> remind me for sure we set it up then cheryl chicho think rocket boys from west virginia really october sky october sky oh i gotta look that up i gotta look that up i like all the spider-man except the amazing spider-man to takeda Big fish, rumble fish, fish called Wanda. I like fish. Haha. <laughs> fish called Wanda was funny too. Big fish. I can't remember what big fish is about. Yes, let's do it then. Good idea. September eleventh. Hey Chicho, it was a, it was phenomenal. <laughs> Third aggression, phenomenal indeed. It was phenomenal. I don't eat fish. I eat some fish for sure. Now I'm gonna watch the hunt for Red October again. Haha. <laughs> Zahid, Zahida, am I the only kid here? Kid at heart. Kid at heart. 
I hope you're enjoying your time, Zahida. Uh, fun. And I'm glad uh, Debbie Does Dallas didn't get picked. <laughs> I will post data on movies and movie information folder. Awesome. And check out our Discord, gang. And this is our Discord page. Okay, you can go there and Elder God will have the list of the movies. He's going to post them there um, that you know we're going to be watching i think i also watched october sky it was a unique and enjoyable experience cool i watched fallen again uh, the other night because uh, my partner hadn't seen it it holds up fallen fallen that's the um, um the guy who's stuck in traffic what's his name uh, michael douglas right that's a great movie that's a great movie and it holds up well i haven't seen it for a few years but it hold, held up well when i saw it in like mid 2000s again I think Scampia deserves to be a country. Do you agree? I don't know. Oh my God, I should have nominated Falling Down. Falling Down? Or Fallen? No, Falling Down. That's Michael uh, Douglas. Which one is Fallen? I can't remember Fallen. Denzel and John Goodman in Fallen. I don't remember that one. You're thinking of Falling Down. Also great. Great movie. Okay. Thank you for the correction. If it smells like salmon keep slamming it <laughs> also put it in the trash <laughs> no some is delicious man <laughs> also did you know uh snowpiercer is a sequel to charlie uh, and the chocolate factory what no i got the graphic novels here it's based on the graphic novels snowpiercer uh french uh so no it's not a sequel to charlie and the chocolate factory i don't think so the graphic novels are amazing by the way the movie was fantastic same director as parasite uh so korean director fantastic movie some people didn't like it that's because they're foolish right uh but snowpiercer movie is fantastic based on a graphic novel french graphic novel and the series was really good too so you had a french graphic novel come out korean director directed the movie and you got an american uh, uh series tv series on Snowpiercer, all three of them are really good, uh, fantastic, really, in my opinion. And I think that would be like the first time ever where you had a graphic novel, movie, and a TV series, all of them be amazing on the same story, same original content, which is great. Kevin's uh, a Gamora was Sal Salvatore es no I don't know what that is no it goes line if uh, it says like salmon salmon slamming if it smells like trout get the f out no it goes like I don't know what that says sign up for dinner a guy has a video he has a remarkable fan theory that it's a sequel the consequences are uncanny really interesting laundering with matt well uh, laurel and chicho <laughs> how about that? oh crap don't know how i f uh, forgot this one have you watched hardcore henry chicho hardcore henry is that the first person when he's shooting yeah 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 that was fun that was fun the shells look like some uh ones uh my mom went to bibles what <laughs> <laughs> it is. yeah it was a fun movie it got me a little bit motion sickness just because it was moving too fast playing video games is okay but watching the movie was a little bit more difficult but it was a fun movie it was a fun movie gang let's call the stream let's call it a stream like the w in the train and the w on uh willy wonka oh are the exact same so they're the exact same symbol what cyanide for dinner really for snowpiercer isn't the shining supposed to be about the moon landing mm, i don't know is there dialogue in okay henry or is it just shooting no no there's dialogue there's dialogue cabin uh, cabinary of the iron fortress was good too i don't know that one thank you for this. my pleasure interpsy you have to watch the video chicho sign up for the link it up on our discord page 
link it up discord page and gang thank you for being here if you want to know what this work is about i am on patreon patreon.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o if you want to follow this work if you want to support this work if you want to get a big bigger picture which is really layered on mathematics patreon is a great way to do so for those of you that are supporting this work on patreon gang thank you very much for the support from the bottom of my heart and i know many other people appreciate um your support as well it is in large part because of your support that we're able to do this okay we are live streaming on twitch twitch.tv forward slash chicho live chycho live if you want to participate in the chat and participate in our polls which is where you want to be at gang thank you for the support thank you for being here thank you for the subs thank you for the follows thank you for the discussion and thank you for your movie recommendations and mods as always thank you for taking care of business a lot of work being done with the mods here gang so huge respect huge respect we do announce these last streams 30 minutes before we go live on mines vk gab parlor bitclout and all those links are available actually i gotta add the bit cloud you can find them if you come to our chat and type in exclamation mark social and all those links will pop up in the bit cloud i'll add as soon as i remember when i finish the stream as well as our discord page we have a discord server where people are sharing a fair bit of information you're definitely welcome to join us there and participate in the discussion i will be uploading the audio of this live stream to soundcloud.com forward slash chicho c-h-y-c-h-o as a podcast and this podcast should be available on your favorite podcasting platform including spotify and itunes uh, i do have a i create telegram but telegram is um if you can't i don't have a you can't have it broken up in different folders discord is basically a forum really and it's fantastic it's a really good platform uh right and Microsoft was not able to buy it out. So fantastic because if Microsoft bought Discord, we would have probably moved off Discord, right? So it's an independent right now uh, forum where you can create your own server where you can have a community share information and you can organize the information in different folders. So we're, we're having fun there and we're sharing a fair bit of information and we like it so far. Okay. And gang, we will be uploading the audio of this or not the audio of this live stream, this live stream to SensorTube, to BitChute, to Rumble, and to Odyssey. And the video should be up, I'm not sure, probably in a week or so uh, on those platforms because today is July 17th, so we'll try to get it up um, in a week or so, uh, maybe in a few days. I'll load it up before some of the other streams that we have so people have enough time to watch the movies. Okay, and gang, again, Thank you very much for all the support we're getting on all these platforms. It is because of all the support and all the sort of discussion and recommendations and just just the love that we're getting that we're able to do this. And I appreciate it very much. Uh, and I know others do as well. And gang, don't forget, we got a doozy. We're going to be reading these as well. Okay. Awesome. 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 Aside from that, gang, thank you for being here. Thank you for your recommendations, and I hope you have a fantastic time watching the movies. Okay. Aside from that, I'll announce the next set of live streams. Give me about four or five days to catch up with the videos being uploaded, or at least get the ball rolling on them, cut things up so I can you know, sort them out. And uh, we'll probably have another set of streams in about a week or so. Bye, everyone. I hope you have a fantastic weekend.